as you open it up, you're disturbing their home. So they rise up and their regard be flying out. And um, I found it a really peculiar experience to have in the middle of a city. Um, and in other ways, very normal, going to work, getting home type life. Um, and that, yeah, there was something about it that I found really fascinating. And yeah, I mean, I've met some beekeepers with hives in very strange places. There's a guy that I know from the Ukraine who kept a hive high up on one of those um, like concrete blocks of flats in the Ukraine, um, just on his apartment balcony. Um, Luke, my friend in London, has hives on the top of yeah, on the top of sort of 12, 14 storey buildings. There was one that he had on the top of the London College of Fashion, which is <laughs> right over Oxford Street. So we, would I recommend? I'm not sure. I mean, bees don't need us. They have been quite fine for thousands of years and they are world creatures. They've never domesticated, so they, they don't need beekeepers. Um, what they do need are more foraging habitats. So if people want to help bees, then plant flowers and, and um, mm. campaign and, and make more bee-friendly habitats. Yeah. yeah, so there's the waggle dance, um, which, which is, I guess, maybe the most famous form of honeybee communication, <laughs> um, which is, um, yeah, really extraordinary. Bees use this particular... Um, series of move, movements to communicate the exact location of a particular pollen seed. So, so this would be a, forag a foraging worker bee that had found, say, a really great lavender bush, would go back to the hive and perform this particular, it's almost like a figure of eight. She waggles her bum very quickly and then does a figure <laughs> of eight. And it, it communicates um, the position of the um, lavender bush um, in relation to the sun and the um, distance that other bees should travel <laughs> and through, through um, sensing this dance it takes place in pitch black, pitch darkness because Jeez. it's inside the hive and so there's no light mm. but other bees will feel the dance and they will um, she'll pass uh, like samples of the pollen and nectar so that they'll know what they're looking for. So experiencing this dance, they'll be able to go and, and find the, the lavender bush. It's, yeah, wow. really amazing. That isn't, that's, 